All right, here is the brand new Gigabyte Z87X UD7TH Thunderbolt. This is Gigabyte's new motherboard, uh, new flagship. Um, it's an upgrade from the uh, last Z87, I think it was UD7. Um, I don't remember what the last two digits were or two letters were, but this is the Thunderbolt series. Um, so far, Gigabyte has given you um, uh, packed this in a very, very nice box. Um, I'm impressed with it. Uh, has carry handle. Um, kind of looks like a briefcase. Looks like you can carry it around. I ordered this from Amazon. Amazon was awesome about getting this to me. Um, front of the box shows, you know, some of the things they have, and then they show the uh, the wire Wi-Fi Bluetooth 4.0 card. Uh, apparently, um, what I've been reading on the Hackintosh sites is basically you can hook a PS4. Uh, controller up to this thing, so that's a plus. That's why I got this um, uh, board. All right, let's look at the back. Uh, literature on the back is basically Z87 UD7 TH Thunderbolt. Um, durable black solid caps, uh, 15 microfarad uh, gold plated. Uh, you, you, I don't know what that means. Gaming headphone amplifier um, for enhanced experience. Uh, single BIOS mode switch, dual pull, bi dual. Bi BIOS tip switch, uh, four-way SLI support, and four-way crossfire support, which is awesome. Exclusive uh, UD UEFI dual BIOS. Um, new heatsink design. Uh, there's a fan in there, a couple fans in there. On-off charge um, for your uh, um, USB 3.0. Um, qu quickly charge your uh, 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 3.0 devices. Um, 1.0 to 3.0 support um, has 10 SATA 3 ports oh it has 10 USB 3.0 ports has 10 SATA 3 ports this thing's loaded um, overclock peg um, or OC peg whatever that means uh, OC switch overclock switch I, I would imagine uh, OC touch buttons has all the buttons in the last version of this um, basically this is the same motherboard on steroids uh, this thing couldn't be uh, better design, better built from what I'm reading on the uh, uh, Tony um, 86, Tony Mac 86. Um, he's uh, did recommend this for a golden build. This has a trip monitor support, so you can run three monitors at the same time. It has um, a dual Thunderbolt, and it looks like uh, um, not DVI port, but the the new port. Uh, it's eluding me at the moment. Uh, two copper PCBs. All right, well, let's get into the uh, unboxing here. So, like I said, it looks like a briefcase. They really did a fantastic job on this. Um, oh, okay, so this whole thing slides out. Uh, another briefcase. Uh, looks like that's the bottom. Oh, we got a nice window in there. All right, so let's um, check that out. It's a nice, nice box. Almost makes me wish I had a briefcase like this. All right, window comes out. Beautiful, beautiful architecture. Um, oh, nice aluminum heat sinks. Uh, there's a fan in this one. Nice uh, heat sink with a doesn't look like a copper heat pipe, but it looks like it's coated with uh, titanium or something. Another black heat sink uh, with a fan. Beautiful board. Beautiful black and gold. Um, Blue slots here. Let's take this out. Take a look at the board. So basically, here's the board. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. So basically, as I said here, um, Here's all your uh, your layouts. Here's you know here's your 16 time card. Uh, I'm not sure what this one is. It looks like there is multiple 16 cards on here. But basically, here's you know all your extended PCI, and then here's your PCIe, and then there's something here. I'm not sure what that is. That is a we'll figure that out. But here's all your uh, ports right here to plug in. You know your your LCD or 
um, your power switches. Um, here's a USB 3.0. Here's your powered USB 3.0. Uh, basically, the back of the board. Um, well, let's look at the front. Here's your power supply. Here's your, you know, everybody knows the RAM sockets, what they look like. Here's your CPU socket, which is a 1055, something like that. But, you know, whatever CPU goes with that. I got the Intel 4770K i7, um, which seems to be screaming fast what they recommend. Now, here's all the buttons they have for resetting the board and overclocking and hitting turbo and tag and your Thunderbolt here. And power button. Um, here's your dip switch. Um, boy, they got everything. More dip switches. Um, so here's what the end of your board looks like. Here's, you know, your PS2 um, older support for your mouse and keyboard for older series. And then you have a bunch of USB 3.0 ports with uh, two LANs. Um, here's your audio. Here um, looks to be the Thunderbolt. And here's both your display ports. Um, and your audio with the SPDIF. All right, beautiful board. Let's set that aside and look at what's in the box. So what comes in the box is, oh, here it is. Uh, here's your wireless uh, Wi-Fi NIC card. Um, nicely packaged. Uh, comes with USB, or not USB. Um, it's a PCI-E, and it comes uh, with, I think, the A, B, um, N, G, uh, you know, all the lower ones, but the, the newest A, B. Plus, it comes with the new Bluetooth 4.0, uh, which that will work perfect with your um, PlayStation 4 controller. Um, I'm not sure what this board is. It says Gigabyte GC3 SLI. Oh, here's your SLI card. Um, boy, here's some... Oh, nice right angle... Um, right angle SATA... SATA connectors um, looks to be one right angle and one regular here's another one with one right angle and one regular um, here's another one with one right angle and one regular so you get a total of three with the right angle on one end and three with the straight port so you get a total of six SATA connectors um, all right here is the Wi-Fi antenna for the USB 3.0 and the um, Wi-Fi um, a, B, um, really connected to this board. Nice. Oh, here's a front USB 3.0 support slide tray for, uh, your smaller, uh, the old floppy trays that you had. Um, that's really nicely made. Um, see, uh, here's crossfire support. Uh, looks to be, uh, GC4, no, another 4 SLI. So they give you two 4 SLIs. I don't know what those are. I've never seen these, so I'm kind of new to this stuff. Um, here's a bag full of your um, dip switch uh, leads. If you want to use the leads and actually test with a, um, test your voltages with a meter, uh, they, they provide the leads for you, uh, which you really don't need. Uh, some people like them. I probably won't use them. Um, I'll probably use the other method that they have on there. Uh, here is a, looks like it's a USB, internal USB. Not sure where that hooks up to. Um, here is, here's your Crossfire. Um, here's an SLI, which seems to be open, but uh, that doesn't matter. Here, uh, this one's SLI, this one's Crossfire. I am not familiar with SLI and Crossfire, so I do not know what these do, especially these PCB boards here. Um, I, I, I imagine I will learn. Uh, I have a couple MSI uh, 770s coming um, to hook up to this board, so um, I think I'll figure it out pretty quickly. Uh, I think those are SLI, so I don't know what Crossfire is. I think Crossfire is ATI. Um, here is the backplate. Beautiful backplate. Black, um, embossed. Uh, shows, uh, I guess those were two HDMI ports um, with your, oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful color in black. Uh, nice big book. So I'm going to have a lot of reading to do. And then you have your uh, DVD support uh, drivers. Um, GW, GCWB11AC series utility driver disc. And the Gigabyte Ultra Durable Intel 8 series utilities disc. And then here's the Ultra Durable GAZ87X UD7TH book. Uh, and there is a 
set up your desktop free book user manual um, and there's another man quite a few manuals so I don't think I'm gonna uh, have any trouble hooking this stuff up uh, just to let you know this board will be going into a cool master um, case HAF XM mid tower case which uh, I read a lot of reviews about this so it should be good um, I may do a review on that but there's plenty of unboxings on there but as for today um, here she is this is the board that you get this is everything you get in there um, your nice beautiful black I'm glad they did that in black um, USB 3.0 front carriage uh, all your SATA ports here SATA lines I am not sure what this is crossfire something uh, here is the NIC card, uh, here's a USB 3.0, here's the antenna for the NIC card, and here's your tester points, and here's the motherboard. So, beautiful motherboard, uh, check them out, um, I'll let you know how it fires up with that uh, 4770K i7, I don't think I'm going to have any problems for years to come.